You have to listen to the people. They want faster action. Action to set up at least temporary sites where those who are unhoused can camp or park safely, like here at Miller Park, where the city is making room for 60 tents. We have to have a process that allows somebody to pick the sites and then to move quickly. Mayor Daryl Steinberg is rethinking that process for the master siting plan to address homelessness he announced back in 2021. That tasked city council members with identifying safe ground sites in each of their districts that together aim to serve at least 3,600 people living on the streets. Now seeing it play out, right, it's been two years. Are you disappointed with how things went? Well, again, I'm, I am pleased and gratified that the city has gone from less than 100 beds to 1100. So we have done a lot. I am disappointed with the way this comprehensive siting plan played out and I'm trying to learn the lessons uh, from that experience. No one acted in bad faith, but it was maybe a case of too many cooks in the kitchen. That's why he wrote a letter calling for a change, shifting the power to pick sites from the eight council members and the mayor who all make up the city council, and instead giving unilateral authority to one person, city manager Howard Chan. That means he would have the final say and it would not require council approval. But I've been through this enough now to know that without a single point of authority, and I think the city manager is the right person here to be able to designate the sites, that it will just take far too long. And once again, again, dash the public's expectation. He's asking the council to vote to approve that shift in power when they return from the summer recess on July 25th. The mayor's letter also addressed Miller Park. This place has seen a lot of changes since it opened. It first was lined with tents over here in this area that's fenced off, but then they had to shut that down after we had intense storms in January. So instead, they went from those tents to decreasing capacity and uh, switching to these travel trailers. But now the mayor is saying they're also going to be adding 60 tents again to try to increase that capacity out here. And they're hoping to get those tents up and running before the middle of July. Reporting live in Sacramento, Lizanne Tree, KCRA 3 News. So I know, Lizanne, a lot of people in the community want to know this has been a controversial topic in the past. How many people will those additional tents help at this point? Well, with the tents plus the trailers that they have here, they estimate and it will help an average of 100 people total. Of course, uh, a lot of people watching all this knows that's that's it's a start, but it is really a drop in the bucket there. Lizay, thank you.